A check of your weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. I know we talked about dressing in layers. Usually that's pretty easy for clothing wise, but mm -hmm. you know, you might want to carry a pair of boots with you as well, Aaron. Yeah, kind of a mixture of weather as we head into the weekend. If you're looking for the drier of the two days, definitely tomorrow. There's no doubt right. about that. That storm system will move in on Sunday and you'll probably necessitate that umbrella, especially if you'll be headed out, say, Sunday evening and then potentially some snow as we head through early morning morning hours on Monday. So let's break it all down for you. It's not going to be a complete washout all weekend long. OK, so I can't uh, stress that enough. It is going to be pretty darn chilly, though, all weekend long. 31 degrees overnight, as we've been talking about, that's prompted that freeze warning and a first alert action night. And then tomorrow afternoon, 58 degrees for a high. That's still 12 degrees below normal, so quite chilly by our standards, at least. Our highs elsewhere in the upper 50s for Marana, Oral Valley, low 50s in Benson and Tombstone, 50 in the Bisbee area. 51 for Wilcox, Green Valley, Nogales, and Sassabee all ringing in at 57 tomorrow. So first weekend of the new year is going to be chilly. Tucson's normal on Saturday, 65, Sunday, 66. Sierra Vista, your normal 61. So you can see most of Southern Arizona way below the normal mark. Our wind advisory does mean the wind is going to be picking up big time as we start to make our way through the day Sunday ahead of that front passage gusts like 30 to 35 miles per hour in the Bisbee area being felt by one in the afternoon and then really strengthening kind of stretching into eastern Pima County Tucson 30 35 mile per hour gusts by four in the afternoon closer to 40 mile an hour gusts though for places like cells Green Valley into Benson check out Bisbee a 46 mile an hour gust expected there and even well after the sun sets and into early morning hours on Monday we still have those stronger winds across Graham and Cochise counties. So the National Weather Service has issued wind advisory. Sunday goes into effect late morning, continues through the evening. Does not include the Tucson area just yet. It's primarily covering most of Cochise and Santa Cruz counties, but that will make it a first alert action day. So will that high chance for rain? So will that potential for some snow? So we've got a mixed bag of uh, weather here as we head into our Sunday. This is what our first alert future radar is looking like. That rain starts to nudge in by about midday through the afternoon changing over to snow, of course, in the mountains by early evening. That continues to drag its way through Santa Cruz and Cochise counties after sunset. And then we have the potential for that snow. Snowflakes, probably not accumulating snow in and around the Tucson area and those mountains north and east of Tucson. So the chance for precip, whether it be rain or snow or a mixture of both, 60% in Tucson Sunday, the same for Oro Valley, 70 in Marana, Sierra Vista, a 40% chance for you. There's a look at that seven day forecast. A lot coming at us here on Sunday and then cold air Sunday night, 28 degrees, a high of just 47 on Monday.